What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Billy, also known online as STEM Storyteller, where I discuss all things STEM, STEM careers, STEM education, and technology in general. Technology is going to be important because we need to know what skills are going to be beneficial in the future as things change rapidly. Technology is changing by the day. We want to continue to stay educated on what's new and also what's coming in the future that we're unaware of, right? We don't know what's coming our way, but I'm going to talk about that. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel and like this video. Stay tuned. Today, we're going to be talking about basics to learn uh, to become a cybersecurity professional. We're going to continue on these basics, right? Because as I'm learning, I want to share with you these amazing topics so that you can learn from someone who is on their way to becoming a cybersecurity analyst who has been studying cybersecurity for over five years now and am here to share with you. Enjoy. So how do you go about becoming a cybersecurity professional? You first want to figure out what exactly you want to do. In the field, right, there are multiple roles and multiple uh, paths that you can take, but you wanna hone that down and figure out a niche and become skilled at that, right? So number one, figure out what you want to do, what interests you, what position are you currently in that has transferable skills into a specific field within cybersecurity. Take a moment to think about that. The next thing that you want to do is set up a lab, right? You'll want to lab so that you can go ahead and practice. You need something to practice on. So in order to set up a lab, you'll want to create a network, a network that definitely consists of a PC and a device, most likely a server. And you'll connect those two devices within the network and what you'll do is you'll want to monitor that PC and that server to look at the network activity and figure out what you're protecting, right? You may want to get a better understanding of Microsoft 365. So you'll want to definitely focus on that PC and all of the security related to that PC and make sure you have a full understanding of what you're protecting, admin rights, and everything that happens on that PC that may affect the network security activity. Learn that Windows operating system. Learn about which alerts are you're monitoring and how they're related to the PC and the server, which alerts are related to the PC itself and which, relate, which alerts are related to the server and admin rights and things like that. Learn more about the Windows registry, common Windows ports, and common Windows processes. Learn about different cybersecurity risks, right? What you're protecting the computer from. What do the risks look like? What are the common risks? What are their names? How do they look when they are um, on, on user interface? Not just in the computer system. The computer system is going to gather a bunch of information and shoot it out. It's going to come in log form. You have to be able to read through that log, log and understand the risk associated. So, so far we've talked about setting up a lab, learning the Windows operating system, learning Windows 365, and learning about the different risks that are associated in cybersecurity, common risks, and how you're going to use threat intelligence to combat those risks, right, and protect the system, the enterprise system, the small business system, your lab, on a Windows machine. So you're going to use your basic regular computer, set up a virtual lab, however you do that. There are different options online. There are a lot of options. Um, so you're gonna go ahead and set up that Windows operating system and figure out how to monitor it and view the account users and the account user login information. It's extremely important uh, for you to understand Windows account users. Those are some of the most common uh, vulnerabilities are um, when threat actors attack a system's account users because those with higher account access are definitely going to have the keys to the kingdom and that is what the um, attacker is looking for. They're looking to get into the environment um, the quickest or easiest way that they can. Within the lab, you're going to view the Windows directory and the operating system events, events that are occurring as you're using the computer system. The login rights of those users and their login activity. This is all information that is crucial to the environment, crucial to protecting the systems, 
who are the users, what are their rights, what are the account names, and um, is the activity legit? And last but not least, check out what ports are run running on the Windows operating system. What ports are open? What ports are vulnerable to a threat attack? So get familiar with those ports, get familiar with those users, set up your lab, have fun with it, create an environment for yourself. You can use this information, your lab setup information during your interview. It's going to wow the interviewer. Them knowing that you created a home lab for yourself and that you've monitored and um, just everything that you've done in your lab is going to be an extremely beneficial part for you to get the job. So that's it, you guys. I truly hope you enjoyed this information. This has been beneficial for me and my journey to becoming a cybersecurity analyst. I'm hoping to share the news soon that I will get that position. And once I do, we can all celebrate together. Keep me updated on where you are in your journey. I would love to hear it. I'm here for you. Let me know you, if you have any questions. Go ahead and make sure you subscribe, like this video, and comment below your thoughts on if this was helpful for you and also what information I can share in the future to help you on your journey. Take care.